Now, um, this is a great drill for warming up, and I think it's a really good drill to make sure you're getting your hip all the way in as well. Uh, so Tom's going to hold either side for my round kick. Now, my kick here, I don't, especially at the beginning of the round, I don't really want any impact on the pads. What I want to focus on is my rotation. Um, so step by step on my round kick, I'm going to take a step forward into my left. If you guys are from Orthodox and you're kicking your right with your right leg, make sure that I'm cutting a little bit of an angle in the direction of my kick. And I'm going to spring up on my toes, turn my heel, and push my hip in. I'm not really going to extend my leg just yet, so I'm going to leave this joint uh, completely relaxed. Now, if I'm right here, this drill would look like this. I'm going to spin all the way around. All right? I want to make sure I'm not stopping my rotation. So right here, I'm going to, I'm going to kind of lay my shins on the pad, and then I'm going to continue to rotate until I can't rotate any, uh, anymore. So it should look just like this, then I'm going to press back into the pads. All right? So if you guys notice that the end range motion here, go ahead and hold up on that second. Um, my knee is going to be all the way across his body. My hip is going to be all the way in. And very importantly here, I want to make sure my heel is almost touching my butt. So I don't want to see you guys pressing when you're here. I want you to be almost turned all the way around before you push in. So we're really kind of stressing that, uh, that rotation. Up on the ball of your foot the whole time. If you guys are kicking with your lead leg, make sure we get a good switch beforehand. Rotate and press back. All right? Let's do with our partners. Work both sides. And when my shin hits the pad, I'll let my knee back up. I'm just going to do the rotation. Good, and push back in a whole thing. Try to shove her over the knee. Good, that looks soft. Don't think so much about swinging your leg. I'm going to hit it on my arm.
like I said, is setting up the head kick now. So uh, we just did the opposite side round kick. Now all these, all the rest of these combos are going to come off the same side. So what I'm going to try and do is use my punches to run them into the kick. So what, uh, when I'll use uh, this this specific one that we're looking at right now, say if uh, the professor's throwing a jab and he notices every time he jabs that I'm over pairing, I'm either reaching for it or I'm kind of swatting at it. Or especially if he throws a jab and I slip outside, this is when I know that he can run me into the head kick. All right. So what I'm going to try and do here, that's what I'm looking for in a fighter in a sparring situation. I'm looking for them to either over parry or to slip outside my uh, my jab. All right, so I'm getting them to react to my jab. So what you guys are going to do on the pads here, I'm just going to have them hold for my jab. I'm going to throw one jab to set it up, a little bit of footwork. Now on the second jab, I'm going to switch my feet. So as I jab, my left leg is going to come back. My right leg is going to come up and out, right here. Now this jab isn't going to have a ton of power on it, but I don't really care about getting power on this jab. I'm just trying to get that reaction. So once again, I'm trying to get him to over parry, or especially if I can get him to slip his head outside of my jab, I know I'm going to be able to run him into that kick. So on the pads, it's going to look like this. I'm going to hit one jab, a little bit of footwork, now I got him looking for it, now I'm going to switch on my jab, bring that kick right behind him. All right, on the pads. Cool? See with our partners? So let me demonstrate it on the pads once real quick, just to make sure you guys got this. So. Over time here, I'm going to throw one jab, a little bit of footwork, he's going to kind of square it to me. Now from here, go ahead and keep this one ready for the kick. I'm going to switch on my jab, give him a second to come back over here, let that kick go right behind him. Cool. That's it. You guys feeling good? Yeah. Toner, what do you think? What's the key to getting better here with? What are, what are some of the things you've learned over the years of like getting better at the, the Muay Thai street boxing? I mean, I, I think just like anything else, consistency, you know? Uh, I truly believe if you like as long as you you stay consistent with it, anybody can be good at Muay Thai. You know? Um, and just like jujitsu, I think the same thing is true for jujitsu. You just need to make sure you're putting in the work and keep coming and uh, make sure you're, you're drilling good repetitions, not doing any of this. Right? Keeps another hand up and just being aware of your technique and you know, they say it takes uh, I think I, I ran a hundred thousand repetitions to become good at something, so a lot, of, a lot of consistency. Everybody they have, they have some of those like like stretching machines. Do you partake in these? No, no. You part? No. Are you serious, man? This guy come up. No, I don't. I don't. I really, man, I really think uh, if you're going to become more flexible for kicking, you got to kick a lot. <laughs> so just find, you know, find that niche with my doubt. You got to find that range of motion that's comfortable. So if you're comfortable kicking here, have somebody just move it up an inch. So it's just out of your comfort range. That's how you. I think that's how you're going to get more comfortable kicking. And same thing, you know. I was. I get people in Denver all the time. Like, hey man, I ran on the other. I should bang like a pool pool cue against my shins to make it tougher. Like.